Hey gang, Big Geek Comics is having a contest. He wants us to show a comic that we're sentimental about. Well, this is kind of a cheat. Here's a Transformers 45. It's a cheat because it's not my original copy. And in fact, the cover doesn't even give me nostalgic feelings because my original copy lost its cover almost immediately. But the interiors sure do take me back. Of course, I bought it as a kid because this is the battle we Transformers fans deserve. Skullgrin versus the semi-nude Circuit Breaker. And yes, I actually did have to Google those names. I did get this because I own Skullgrin and also partly so I could ogle circuit breaker, but I got this guy from a woman that my mom babysat for. I can't really remember why my mom was babysitting for her. I think it was just to give my sister practice before she turned 12, or whatever the babysitting age is. And I guess this lady felt that I'd helped with the babysitting, which I sort of did. And she must have figured, rightly so, that I was into Transformers, so she gave me Skullgrin. And I had no idea who this guy was. Critics say that the 80s cartoons were nothing but ads for the toys, and they were right. I don't think this guy was on the cartoon, so why would I want him? The only reason I wanted the toys was to recreate the show when the show wasn't on. So what good was a Transformer that wasn't on the show? But then I saw this comic and I figured I could find out who this guy was and get excited about having this toy, in addition to getting excited over Circuit Breaker. Oh, so many memories. He also wants us to show a comic book related object, for an example, an action figure. And you can guess what I'm going to show. Kane! Skullgren's actually buried in my garage. But isn't Kane so awesome? Everyone watching this probably owns his first appearance because it's in X-Force number two, the second appearance of Deadpool. You know, if you don't count the X-Force one trading card, which I don't because I own more copies of X-Force number two. So thank you to Big Geek Comics. Thank you for this contest. I'll have your link in the description and at the end of the video. There is actually a comic that I'm far more sentimental about, but number one, it's buried in the garage. Number two, I don't really want this channel to become devoted to my ex-girlfriend. I've already told the story about how she got the crumb signature, and this is basically linked to how we met, which is actually a great story, significantly better than the one I told.